three habits to have massive wealth in your life, in your career, so that you can really live a life of freedom. And if you look at most people, how li they live their lives, if you ask them uh, anything about money, um, you know, it's, it's kind of like always a topic that most people don't like to talk about. No, 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 I don't want money. You know, I'm happy. Like, yeah, you are. How much money do you make? 15,000 a month. Oh, wow. Awesome. You must be very, very happy. Lars, man, prime light brother. Um, so a lot of people have this struggle internally with money. I, I, I have seen by communicating with so many people in the world that there are three major things that most people don't like to talk about. And this is different than the three things that we're going to be talking in the habit sites today. But the three things is number one, spirituality. Most people don't like to talk about it. They'd like to go to temple and the masjid and all the places, the churches and, and any other religious home. Um, but they don't like to talk about spirituality. They talk about religion. They don't like to talk about the, the inner feeling, uh, the connection, universal connection. They don't. So that's one. The second thing they don't, most people don't like to talk about is sexuality. Like, they don't like to talk about that. Like, hey, no, 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 we can't talk about all that. We can't talk about my private things. And, and that's a problem. And the third thing most people don't like to talk about is money. Money, no, man, I don't know. Money is it's not important. It's not most important. Really? Is it not important? Will you work for the company that you work for? Or will you provide the service that you provide as a businessman? If nobody pays you anything? Let's be honest. Because transformation is not possible without being honest. So today we are talking about wealth, especially financial wealth. Um, if you know my story, you know. Deepak, all the best man. Um, if you know my story, you know that I did not come from a great background. I did not have all the great things that I have going around. I didn't have uh, multiple businesses. I did not have great confidence. I did not have this great network that I have today. I, I did not have the time freedom and the financial freedom that I've been blessed and fortunate to enjoy because I was born and brought up in a small town called Shiliguri. But I was born and brought up and I, growing up, I did not have confidence. Growing up, I did not have mentors. Growing up, I did not have the right people around me. Uh, my parents molded me, shaped me, um, and I grew up. I studied in a Bengali medium government school. So growing up, I did not have a lot of things. My parents paid 289 rupees per year for my school tuition, right? So as you can understand, money was not something that was very, very abundant from the background that I came from. So when I grew up um, and I went to people, I remember going to one of my teachers who taught me English a lot. Ashwini, thank you so much for following and you're welcome. Um, uh, yes, Rajesh, good to see you, man. Um, so I went to one of my teachers one day and told him that, you know, when I grow up, I, apart from all the good things and apart from being a good human being, I would love to make plenty of money because I want to be able to achieve and, and afford the better things in life. And I want to be able to feed other people just like I was feeding yesterday. Uh, I was eating cake with Anupama and some people came and, and um, this all happened, right? I, I, I love to feed that. So I told him, I wrote a letter to him in a, you know, in a, on a paper and I, we, I went to this uh, teacher and I gave it to him and he read the letter. Hmm. Hmm. I want to say something to you, Bishal. I said, sure. He said, you know, this money thing that you wrote about, I said, yeah. He said, you know, you should not have any money goals. You should not think about money at all. Bullshit. Bullshit. In fact, if you have ever heard from anybody, either your parents or your friends, maybe with the right intention who told you money does not matter, don't think about money at all, put down in the comments or hit a like and love button so I know who you are who heard so we can have a communication here like we are having right now. Hey, Shantan. And let me know if you have ever heard from your parents that money doesn't matter. Money doesn't matter at all. Money is not important. Don't think about money. If you ever, ever heard that, put down, yes, I heard it. Yes, I heard it. Put down in the comments so I know that you heard it. Let's make it a conversation together today. Absolutely, Lars. Money matters. It's an only means to an end. Absolutely. But it is the means. If I don't have it, I'll not have the end. 
So I agree with you, it's a means to an end, but it is the means. Who else has heard any programming about money? Put down in the comment. Say, I heard it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sridipa, you're right. Sridhar. <laughs> Absolutely. I heard it all around me. Yeah, Deepak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madhusudan. Absolutely. Look, this is the thing. This is the thing. This is the programming that all these people have given to us most often. Not because they had any wrong intention. It's because they also learned the same thing. That money doesn't matter at all. I'm not saying money is the most important thing. Ashwani, you're right. I'm not saying money is the most important thing. I'm saying it is important. It is not important. Try going to the petrol pump tomorrow. Say, give me a petrol for 500 rupees. And when, you, when he asks for money, look at him and say, money does not matter. Try doing it tomorrow. It's going to be a painful experience for sure. Hey, you Raj. Deepak, you're right. So I'm going to share with you right now. You're going to be picking up three. And if you're taking notes, if you have a pen and paper, man, just take notes right now. I'm going to be sharing with you how I have been able to have days in my life um, this year multiple times where you can actually make somewhere between 10 to 15 lakhs rupees on a single day. Now, I know it's, it's really, it's an uncomfortable number for most people, like 10 lakhs right per day like oh my god it's not possible for me the maximum i have seen people make is 10 lakhs per year i understand that i totally do the maximum i saw my family members make was 12000 rupees per per month 12000 rupees per month so just because nobody else in your family is making that right now does not mean that that is a limit it means it's a perceived limit for now what's that in dollars 12000 rupees uh, is around around 180 dollars US, Lars. Uh, thanks for the question. So, uh, 10 lakhs. So, by the way, the 10 lakhs amount that I was speaking is around... Around... 12,000, 14,000, 14,000 US dollars, some, something that, like that. Um, and... What I always tell people is... It's better to have money and not need it than to need money and not have it. I have a relative, uh, she, is going, she has gone through a big operation. She, uh, they needed 35 lakhs rupees, around 35 to 4, 38 lakhs rupees for the operation. He did not have all the money, so we as relatives, we put down some money together, uh, very happily and gratefully, and I'm very grateful to say that she is absolutely fine right now. Money saves lives in many ways. What if we didn't have the money and went, went to the doctor and said, we don't have the money, but money doesn't matter. Let's do a hug. They might not be able to do that, right? They might not be able to provide that treatment. So three things. Number one, that you require to make the big money, whatever that number is for you, man, whatever that number is for you, whether it's 10 lakhs a day. My first income goal was one lakh rupees per month when I first started out in my career. Uh, that was like a big number for me. And then I, it, it came down to, you know, like I want to make 5 lakhs a month, it came down to 20, it came down to 50. And it always grew per month, um, uh, my income goal, because I, I, my, my inner self, not because I became greedy, but because, um, yeah, you're right, you're right, uh, completely. Happiness definitely does matter. I mean, I'm not sure, though, if this relative of mine died because of lack of treatment of money, not sure if her husband would be very happy, my friend. <laughs> Let's talk reality. Let's talk practical reality. Practical. It's cold. Practical reality. So three things. Number one, you must have, write this down. One, habit number one is you must have the confident mindset. Confidence. Lars, you're right. Money itself doesn't make you unhappy. Money, exp I say, money exposes who you already are. If you're happy, money will expose that. If you're sad, money will expose that, right? So if you are, if you have good intentions to really help people and to really provide the best for your family, money will really uh, give you the blueprint to, um, you know, make great things happen. Um, if you have the wrong intentions, uh, you know, drinking and oh, rest driving and 
uh, money will take you far ahead in that wrong direction. But the first thing you require is confidence. What do I mean by confidence? It's not just the confidence that I can do everything. It's your confidence in your ability to um, create results in the world so that you know that you deserve. One of the things I learned from one of my mentors, Thai, is uh, most people don't achieve big success is because they, they feel deep inside that the, they don't deserve it. So it's a deserving issue issue um, inside them. And um, yeah, Deepak, you're right. T. Harvaker says all that, but you know, and it's, it's good to know. And I, I'm sure you have learned it. Uh, my question to you, Deepak, uh, in a friendly, challenging way is, are you applying it? And, I, and does your results in your life show up? And does it prove that you have actually learned it? And maybe you have, so it, it's great. If not, that's amazing too. Now it gets to apply it and, and let the result speak for yourself. And it's gonna be great for you and I celebrate you and your success either way. So the first thing is confidence. And if you don't have, most people um, do not feel that they deserve that big success, whether it's money or their relationship. And if you even see this deserving issue, this self-limiting beliefs, um, if you give somebody an appreciation, right? Let's say they're looking awesome in a party or an invitation, or you go to a wedding of somebody and they're looking amazing, and you tell them, you are looking amazing, most times, I shouldn't say most, many times, the, the person's immediate response to you will be, oh no, don't joke. You're appreciating, you're giving the love, you're giving the gratitude, you're telling them you're looking handsome or beautiful, or so hot and sexy. And they say, no, no, don't joke. Why? Because they are not confident about their own self. They don't believe that they are handsome. They don't believe that they are beautiful. In fact, if you have ever been in a situation where you give, um, because it happened to me many times, if you give uh, any kind of uh, good feedback to somebody saying you are looking good, um, has this ever happened to you guys? I'd love to know from me in the comment. You, you give a comment, a good comment to somebody, a good uh, feedback to somebody, and they immediately said, oh, don't say, you know, no, you're embarrassing me. Has this ever happened to you? Let me know in the comments down. So I know that you have, this has happened to you, and I'm gonna be back. Put down in the comments. Now, once you master your confidence level, this is great. Once you, yeah, once you master your confidence level, the second thing that happens um, that you require to make big paydays and achieve big success is your value matrix. Write this down. Value matrix. M-A-T-R-I-X. Your value matrix. And what I mean by value matrix is very, very simple. All right. It was taught to me by Bob Burr. He said, money is an echo of value. Money is an echo of value. That means the only way for you to make more money and receive more money ethically and powerfully in a good way is to create more value in the marketplace. So a good question to ask yourself every single day. Good question, Lars. Um, how do you get confident? I'm going to answer that in our different live stream. Uh, and that's exactly what I teach in our program, the Confident Expert Live Experience, how to become confident about your own value and yourself. But a good question to ask yourself every single day is that, what kind of value am I bringing to the world today? It's gonna to be a little tough in the beginning for many people to answer because they don't have great value. They think I'm just doing this, I'm just doing that. Uh, but how can I convert this into something that I really, really provide for the world so I can uh, get something back? So for example, um, your work, you know, you might be um, somebody who works at a TV channel or you might be somebody who works as an IT professional or you might be somebody who works as a musician or you might be somebody who works as an HR manager or a project manager. The question you want to ask every single day when you wake up in the morning is what can I do today to bring more value to my company? What can I do to bring more value to my 
job? What can I do to bring more value to the uh, clients that I provide uh, service for? What can I do to bring more value uh, to my family members? What can I do to bring more value to my neighbors? What can I do to bring more value to my society? What can I do to bring more value to my friends? Right? Once, I do, once you keep starting thinking about it, what's going to happen is you're going to find creative ways to bring more value. And what did I say? Money is an echo of value as Bob Burke says. So when you bring in a value to the world, the universe rewards you with more money. Money is just one of the currencies, not the everything. But it does give you more money. I'm going to look at some of the comments here. Um, so I know exactly what you're communicating with me here. I'm, uh, you know, I want to look there in the comment, but I want to look at you first of all and want to make sure that I'm paying the right attention to you to bring value to you. See, what I'm doing right now is the value matrix. I don't have to be here this late evening to talk to you, uh, taking time out of my business, taking time out of my family members to talk to you and give you this value. But I'm doing it because I understand in this world, uh, the more value I create, first of all, it gives me an immense amount of happiness when my students really uh, are, are the people, my friends, you know, really go out there and become really, really successful. But I also understand that the more value I bring to the people, the more value comes to me. Um, I did an event just a few days back. Uh, we had we made a revenue of around, you know, somewhere between 35 to 45 lakhs rupees from that, just from that one event. You know, it was a three-day event, and most people think about how do you do all that. I provide maximum value to my clients. I'm like you have no idea what we do for them. Not just a lot of effort. Effort is not just always value. Um, the value is about what can you, what can I do to give them results so they can appreciate what do they need. And that is the difference between a guy who works at a McDonald's who makes, let's say, you know, 100 rupees per day and a guy who's uh, a doctor who's saving people's lives making 10 lakhs rupees per that day, right? Because of the value. So first of all, you want to become confident. Number two, you want to understand about your value matrix. Uh, and number three is you have to master consistency. Consistency. Okay, consistency. So number one, confidence. Number two, value matrix. And number three, consistency. Now, what do I mean by consistency? See, when you do something on a, on a regular frequency that you have set your mind to, and when you bring those actions on a regular basis to the world, the world starts taking action. Right, Sagar? And as a result of that, people start taking notice of the great things that you're doing. The universe starts seeing and watching the great things that you have started doing. And as a result, they start following you. So for example, one of the things I do is I send every single morning at 9.45 a.m. Um, sometimes I change the timings because of my schedule and how I like to do things um, without it being a pressure for me. Um, I send an email, uh, an automated one that goes out to thousands, tens of thousands of people every single morning. It's called the Confident Expert Daily Mentoring. It's a daily mentoring. It's as if I'm mentoring you every single day in the morning in a form of an email. I'm sending you some of my tips, some of my best ideas on public speaking, some of my best ideas on presentation skills. So it brings value to people. And I'm doing it every single day, not five days a week, not six days a week, seven days a week. How many people do you know who bring value to you every single day consistently, confidently? Some but not many. But when you, when you do something consistently, whether it's every day or every week, that consistency builds currency. And guys, I'm not talking about currency of just money. I'm talking about the currency of value, currency of integrity, currency of trust. Because if they don't trust you, they can't follow you. They have to really trust you in order to follow you. Your children have to trust you in order to follow you. Whoever your wife or husband or boyfriend or girlfriend is, they have to trust you in order to follow you. And without consistency, Absolutely. Lars, you're right. Without consistency, 
the value matrix doesn't work very well because you might have a lot of confidence about yourself but you're not bringing value and you're not being consistent you see these are the three pillars of the maximum wealth and financial freedom so one of my clients Alok Srivastava from Red Hat um, the last 18 months got two promotions almost doubled his income and in the last promotion that he got listen to this he got the promotion without even asking for it what exactly he did not even have to ask for it how did he get it well he became confident he provided value online and offline and he became consistent in his behaviors and in his actions result his speeches and presentations are now being uploaded onto Red Hat's main corporate global website. And people are watching him all over the world. He's getting promotion, getting recognition, getting great credit, being rewarded financially, making double the money that he was making 18 months ago. Without even asking for it. <laughs> In fact, he sent me a message today in a private group that we have for my private clients um, where they can share their results with me every single day so I know what's going on and then before we in between the calls and the mastermind meetings and all the good stuff he told me that he has started getting some much much better offers right now in his career so guys you don't have to be a business owner only in order to make a lot of money or have a lot of financial wealth or financial freedom no you can do it in your own current job. You can do it in your own current freelancing thing that you do. You can do it as an IT professional. You can do it as a music musician. You can do it as a leader. Right? So let's recap now. Number one, you require confidence. If you're taking notes, write this down. Confidence is the one thing that transforms everything. Number two, value matrix. What kind of value are you bringing every single day? And in order to create more value, definitely, you need more skill set. Vishal, I have a lot of knowledge. Great. Can you communicate in front of people? Uh, when I speak in front of a lot of people, it makes me a little nervous. Awesome. Great. Now, in order for you to create more value in front of people, you have to master your public speaking skills. It's not just about confident about your own value. Now, you have to communicate that's a new skill set in order to bring more value to people value matrix and the third is consistency consistent in your performance consistency in your visioning process consistency in your daily habits and amazing great things start to happen <laughs> dude Life is awesome. It's so awesome. Today is one of the big paydays for our businesses, which happens like five days out of seven days, um, or four days on average. Uh, and I'm very fortunate to, to have great um, financial abundance in my own personal life. And, and more than anything else, I'm, I'm grateful to have more time freedom in my life than ever before. Um, but when I get to hear the client's success stories, you know, people sending me messages saying, hey, just doubled my income, my salary just doubled, or hey, I just got five new clients into my business, or hey, um, you know, I, I, I took my father out for an amazing concert, and he's 95 year old. That's wealth for me. That's wealth for me. I love hearing those things. And it makes me so happy grateful and powerful when people apply these things and see amazing results because I did not have all this set up for me I did not you know I had to learn just like a pen is being made made it, it's not just naturally you you don't you know pluck it from a tree somebody has to make the refill somebody has to you know create the cap somebody has to create this outside shape the put in the ink and packaging and then putting into a small packet and shipping it to the store or manufacturer then to the store and blah 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 
it comes down and then finally you get it. So it's a, it's a process of the value matrix and finally you buy it for 200 rupees, 500 rupees or even 50 rupees it's, and you pay because they have created that confidence, confidently they have created it, they have created the value matrix and they are consistent with that. So these are my three tips for you. If you joined a little uh, later, that's awesome. Watch the replay from the beginning and you know, start it from the beginning and watch it again. I really enjoyed speaking with some of you. I'll see the comments and reply a little bit later. I really enjoy so many comments I really can't see um, on the phone because I wanna keep my focus on delivering value to you and creating that engagement so that I can, um, I can show you exactly the same path that I've been on. Um, so I, I could you know, have my own success and my own freedom and my own happiness. I'm a happy guy, I'm a peaceful guy. Uh, because of great different great things that I do and more than anything else it's because I don't need the money to be happy I have it I enjoy it I show other people how to make more of it I, I really multiply it but I don't need it I want it but you know once your basic great things are done now it's all about utilizing money to do greater things and I hope you are doing the same thing for yourself. So Stephanie, welcome to the video stream as well. Couldn't see so many names, so many comments and everything, but I really enjoyed speaking with you. So confidence, value matrix and consistency, that's how you make you know, big money things happening, you know, even somewhere, something between 10 to, 10 to 20 lakhs rupees a day, if that's your goal. And someday I wanna meet you, someday I wanna show you the entire process of how to become a confident speaker. Um, I just finished an event, the Confident Expert Live Experience, just a few days back, and some people had great results. Some people have amazingly phenomenal results, and now we are actually starting a new batch for the Confident Expert Live Experience. It's a personal training where I personally uh, do this. Uh, last year, welcome, and I will definitely uh, look forward to having all the people there at the event to train them on their confident public speaking skills so they can grow their presentation skills, go out there, communicate their value, you know, get more income from the company and, and you know, give it to other people, give it to their family, enjoy it, have the abundance, feel peaceful, have the happiness. So that's my tip for you. My name is Bishal Sarkar, always reminding you that public speaking is not about perfection, it's all about connection.